Hello Airsoft friends, and welcome to another video. Today, we are ultra wide, as you can see. We can see more of the worm than we've ever seen ever. Did I say worm or room? I don't know. Either way, we are here because we've got a package that came today, and it's in this big bag here. And we're going to open it and see what's inside, because it may be something that will be great, or it's going to be terrible. But either way, we'll find out together. Now, what's inside this bag, you may ask? It is a bag. Ironic, isn't it, that bags come in bags? But it's a bag for me to put my riffs and, and kit in for me to take to site to site. Because at the minute, you may be able to see on the door there, uh, I've got a big vertically uh, bag. Uh, and it's very, very good. It's all right. However, it's starting to break a little bit. This is what the bag is. As you can see, there's lots of pockets and you can fit multiple guns in there and, and stuff like that. So that's so that's really good. Um, but it is falling apart a little bit. And I wanted to get something which may, you know, uh, be better than that. I've probably been waiting about four to six weeks uh, for it to arrive. So now it's here. I'm very excited. I could have got it a lot faster, but then it would have cost like £100. Pounds, um, but I managed to pay this amount of money for it uh, instead. So as you can see, it's much more agreeable. So without further ado, let's crack it open and see what we've got. So on the offset, it actually looks very, very similar to my current, like, riff bag. Although it is not as long, which is, I guess it's okay, because my, my riffs that I currently have um, aren't long enough, and sometimes the bag I have can get a bit floppy in places. So already, being a bit shorter is a good thing. On this side here, there's not really anything on it as you can see but on this side we've got a pouch here uh, which has a strap in it which is good so we've got a shoulder strap very very handy oh look you can see my setup as well look at that there's my computer there's a monster there's a stream lamps which i'm using to record and then there's my wallpaper which i think is hilarious we've got a couple of long pockets here so we may be able to get uh, like bbs in there and whatnot and we've got another long pocket there which is good so you can probably get like mags in there as well and velcro so we can put patches here which is good but the best bit that i'm looking forward to is what's inside the bag um so let's kind of get in there now is there any more patches oh yeah there's a patch there's a pouch on the end here with a, a strappy bit so we can unzip that and get into it and on this end as well oh you've got exactly the same you can uh you've got a velcro elastic not a velcro elastic -y bit and a pouchy bit i'm gonna open it up i'm gonna open it up and then see what's uh, what the inside looks like Ooh, let's go a clippy strap there in the middle and also on the end i like that because that means if your bag has got a lot of stuff in it um then it puts the stress on the clips and not on the zip so it means your zip will last longer right. oh velcro together there and that's a nice nice little touch and i can just pull that open which is very good and can i do the same on this side i can i can just pull it and it opens up all the way and there we go hooray so looking inside you can see the bottom part has a ton of Velcro on it, which uh, which is cool. And then we've got Velcro on the walls as well. Now you may be wondering, why have we got that much Velcro? Well, it also comes with these bits here. So the whole point of this is you can Velcro this into the case. Uh, and if you've got two rifles, you have them stick in these little top bits. Or if you've just got one, you'd mount it the other way around. And then you've got one there. And you've also got this Velcro strap, which goes over the top. So you can, you know, kind of like strap your strap your riffs into place. Now with this kit, um, we're actually going to be putting two riffs in here. So we're going to use this uh, side. So I need to move this Velcro strap and then get these mounted into the bag. So let's do that now. Right, so he is the perfect length of this case. So we probably want to put him about there. Yeah, let's put it about there. Those bits are in. Let's see if my M4 sits nicely in there. I imagine this gun is going to give this case rigidity. Look at that. Beautiful. It's in there. The tops are definitely floppy, but in terms of, you know, the, the riff being in there, it's safe and secure, which is nice. Yeah. The, uh, oh no, mate, that way around it does, I think. Hey! <laughs> It fits, yay. Look at that, that's a handy dandy bag, if I ever did see one. So we've got a big pouch in there so we can put stuff. That's also a zip pouch actually too, look at that. So we can unzip it and put stuff in. We can put stuff in there. That pouch comes out like that, so that's actually quite big. We may even be able to get some gas in there boys. And then that bit, that comes out quite nicely too. Look at that, that's actually not too bad. So that's managed to get in my M4 and my SRS in a handy dandy size. I'll be able to get my pistol in there and stuff as well. That's pretty cool. The only downside is um, I'm at the minute trying to play 
with my VSR um, the most at the moment. So I can't get that in there, which is a bit of a pain. But in terms of bagness, that seems to be pretty good. I'm happy with that. Look at that. Boom. There's tons of space in there. I'm easily going to be able to get all of the extra bits that I currently have in my, my main rifle bag um, into here because of all the pockets and the sizes of the pockets. Um, and even though it doesn't have a um, like backpack carry strap on my other ugh, on my other rifle bag, that's the part that's broken. So it may be that the twisting motion of, you know, there being a lot of weight in there twisting it to put on my back that's what's causing it to break so having one which doesn't have that kind of sucks but at the same time it's not got that part on it which will break which is a good thing let's get that strap these clips are completely made of plastic so i don't have much faith that these are going to last a huge amount of time the case isn't really going to get a huge amount heavier than it already is because the guns are in there but that's comfortable yeah i feel manly with it too Hey, hey guys, I'm just coming here to shoot airsoft guns. Yeah, that's damn, that's comfy. Yeah, cool. All right, I'm happy with that. That's sick. Well, like I said though, it is a little bit of an annoyance now because I'm not running my, my SRS for the time being. But when I do want to run my SRS, I've got a handy dandy bag which it can, uh, it can live in perfectly with my M4. So that's well good. So we're doing another look on the inside. So this is me. I've just got to the site and I want to get my riffs out. So let's have a little look in. So, oh look, I need to get, get inside it. Ooh. And now I need to get inside this way. Ooh. Look at that, they're there. And they're, they're strapped in place. They're not going anywhere. Um, they're kind of, they are, they're kind of touch. No, well, they're not really touching. The only point they're touching is the bolt on the SRS. So what I'd probably do is, put the SRS on the other side so the bolt's over there, or flip flip it over so the um, the SRS is, is the, oh no, I can't flip it because the, the pouchy things. Well, I could move the pouchy things um, and flip the SRS. So yeah, like they're in there nice and sturdy. They're gonna be safe. There's tons of space in there so I can put my pistol um, in there underneath as well if I wanted to, which is, which is nice. And uh, yeah, cool. Lots of space, lots of space, and lots of space. Lovely. Good stuff. I'm happy with that. I must say, it's been a long time coming, but it's finally came, come, and yeah, I'm, I haven't been disappointed. So, hooray. Here's the one that I bought. Um, it is the cheaper one, and it does take a long time to come. However, quality-wise, it all seems up to scratch, to be fair. So, yeah, I, I, I'll give this a go in the field, and I'll report back to you later in future to let you know how it was. But at the minute, happy with that. It's got my stuff in there. It's nice and secure. And uh, yeah, it's ready for a game day. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to call your hits, drop us a like, and leave us a comment as well. Let us know what bag you use. And with that beat, my time is done. See you next time, everyone. Bye.